Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Reagan, and for today's video, I am going to be trying on every single shirt in my closet, um, t-shirt wise. So basically, I'm going, after I put them on, divide them up and keep, donate, or like DIY, like bleach or something like that. With, so I'm gonna do that. Hopefully I'll be decluttering my closet a little bit. And let's get started, because this will take a few hours. Um, so obviously, first off, I have this shirt. It's brand new. This is what it looks like. And this is the back. So obviously, I'm keeping this one. All right, so this is where I keep all my t-shirts. It's quite messy. Um, but this is my main section of t-shirt. First pile. Second pile. Third pile. Fourth pile. So that is everything I'm trying on today. I would like to say before we start, I like live in t-shirts, that's all I wear. So yeah. <laughs> right, this is shirt number one. It's a camp, or it's a shirt from my summer camp. This one's Keeper, super soft, really like it. Shirt number two, this one fits pretty well. It's one of the I went to, definitely keeping this one. It is currently, I started this at like 2.30, so we're gonna see when I finish. Um, but this is shirt number three. I, this one's gonna go in a maybe pile. I got it at Doing Ask Looks Meat, but I feel like I've kind of grown out of it. This one is a college shirt, it still fits. I'm keeping this. I know someone who goes here, so now I wear it to support them. So this one's a keeper. This one still fits, and I'm definitely keeping this. It's from uh, my original gymnastics meet, so definitely um, a shirt I'll keep even if I grow out of it. This one I'm also keeping. It's a little big, but um, one of my friends gave it to me, and I like the color and the overall style of it. This one I just got, I've never worn before, but I like the light color of it. Just a good lounge around the house. It's for like a charity type thing. And this is the back it's like, so we'll keep be keeping this. This next shirt is one I used to wear all the time and I forgot about it, but I still really like it. It still fits well. Um, this is the back, it has a Bible verse on it. And this one I'm definitely keeping. It's super soft and comfortable. So this shirt I tried to DIY um, and wore to like a convention for my slime shop. And this is what the back looks like. Um, but as you can see, I really failed at the placement of this. So I'll probably just get rid of this one. I never wear it. I don't do my slime shop anymore. So this one will probably just go in the trash pile. The UCLA National Champion um, when they won gymnastics. And I'm definitely keeping this shirt. I love this shirt. And that's like my dream school. So this is an OU shirt. I like the like little um, checkered plaid look. Uh, the top and the color shirts well and my brother goes there so I'll definitely be keeping this so this next shirt is from a gymnastics meet I didn't compete at because I was hurt and honestly I'm not the biggest fan of the color and it's not really that comfortable the back just has like sponsors on it so this one's going in the um, either like DIY or maybe section this one I wore in a recent video. I really like the way it looks, how it has kind of like the streaks in it, so it's not super plain, it's really soft. And again, we'll be keeping this one. I wear it quite often. The shirt I got at Belt, it's just like a pale yellow, it's an elephant on it. And I really like the back of this shirt, and it's relatively new, so I'll be keeping this one as well. Next shirt I really like the color of, and my friend gave it to me as a present at the end of our season like two years ago, and she has the same one with her initials. But it is getting pretty short, so I think I'm just going to keep this one um, with all my other shirts I keep, but that don't fit anymore. Um, so yeah. This is a Texas Tech shirt. Both my parents went there, and I wear it all the time. This is what the back looks like. It's super soft and comfy. I honestly travel in this shirt a lot. So how comfortable it is, so definitely we'll be keeping this one. So this one is also a hand-me-down shirt. I really love the color. This one, it's similar to what I started this video in. Um, but this is the back of it, and definitely a good lounge around the house shirt that I really like wearing. This is a shirt I forget about a lot, but I like the color, and my parents got it to me when they went on a trip to California. So I'll be, I think I'll be keeping this one. It's getting a little small, but for now I think it's good to wear. So this shirt is when I went to see the Michael Jackson show in Las Vegas while I was there for me. It's super soft and comfy. We'll definitely be keeping this. It is getting a little bit tight on me, um, but for now I can still wear it. Another UCLA gymnastics shirt. It still fits. It looks black in camera, but it's like a navy color. So definitely keeping this one. This shirt I also forget about a lot because I just don't tend to gravitate 
towards white and it's like oddly tight down here which is weird but i'm definitely keeping this it's a shirt that i got because i won um an event or two at the state championships so definitely keeping this for sure one that i also tend to forget about because it just kind of goes towards the bottom of my shirts it's one my parents also got me on the trip and i really like the color and i think the back is super duper cute so definitely be keeping this one i just gotta remember i own it this shirt used to be one of my favorites i loved the color of it i wore it all the time um but i got a bunch of yellow paint on it and it kind of it's not showing up as much on camera but it looks like i must wear my shirt which is really gross so I don't ever wear it more, but it's super comfortable. It's a comfort color shirt, and it's been washed a lot, so it's super cozy. I'm going to put it in the DIY section, maybe just bleach it and see if that looks cool. If there's still paint on it, I'll definitely throw it away. And it's a Texas shirt. I really like the fit of it. It's super cozy, and I like just the simplicity. Born and raised with just Texas on it. This one we also got at the candy store in Las Vegas when we were there. And I love Reese's. They're like my favorite candy. And this color honestly isn't the cutest. But I kind of like it on me, and this one's definitely a keeper. I used to wear it, like, every single week. This shirt I got at this slime event I was at for, like, $5 on sale because this wasn't even the one that was in San, <laughs> San Antonio, and it was just left over, and it says, like, a mid staff on it, which I honestly think is kind of cool. But I would honestly, I never wear this in public because it says slime roadie on it. Like, I'm just not... I don't do slime anymore, so it's just I'm not going to wear it in public. But I think this, I'm going to keep this to do like try DIY on. Um, so definitely be sure comment, to comment down below if you want to see a video of me DIYing the shirts that I'm not keeping. So yeah. Another camp shirt. It's the same as the green one, just in a different color. I prefer the green one much more. I'm not a big fan of like neon colors on me. Probably just because I'm really pale. I'll be keeping it though because I still wear it and still a comfortable shirt. It's just not something I wear all the time. But this shirt was also a hand-me-down shirt. Super soft, comfortable. This one's a keeper. So I absolutely love this camp shirt. It's super soft and cozy, and I just love the overall um, design of it with the little stars and the colors under the name of the camp. So this one I'm definitely keeping. This is another Canicac shirt. And if you can't tell already, majority of my t-shirts are Canicac and gymnastics oriented. So just get used to that. This one I wear all the time. I love this color on me and definitely will be keeping it. This is another camp shirt. I also really like navy on me, keeping it. I also forgot I own this shirt, but I really like it. It's comfortable. It's the uh, Magnolia shirt, and we went there pretty recently, so this is really new. I've only worn it like once or twice. Again, I forgot I had it. Definitely will be keeping this one and remembering to wear it more often. So this shirt my mom got for me when she ran a race in New York, but it's getting really small, so I'm going to have to get rid of it. Day shirt I bought from Bucky's on a road trip. I really, really love the design in the back of this because I like bright colors, just don't like them on me. So with the gray, I definitely still wear this. Super soft and I'm definitely keeping it. This is a, another camp shirt. I really also like this one. Soft, I love the design of it and we'll be keeping it. This is an Alabama gymnastics shirt. I love the simplicity of it. I wear it a lot and really like that team and we'll also be keeping this one. This is an Oklahoma gymnastics shirt. I know someone who goes there and you know, watch their meets to support her and everything. So I also will be keeping this shirt as well. This shirt I got to wear at Disney. Um, definitely put the eye to watch the video where I wore this in, the vlog at Animal Kingdom. But yeah, definitely obviously keeping this shirt. It's brand new. So my parents got me this shirt. I believe when I went to New York, it's a um, Carlos Bake Shop shirt. And I don't wear it a ton but because it's not the most comfy, but I like it and I like the show Cake Boss and stuff, so I'll also be keeping this one. Another Canicac one that I wear all the time. It's similar to the last blue fuzzy one, but I really like the design on it and the way it looks on me. This one is another one I used to wear all the time. It also has a Bible verse on the back. So again, I'm not a big fan of this color on me, so I might end up Getting rid of this one, I don't know. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. This is an Eskimo Joe's shirt from Oklahoma, and I used to wear this all the time, but it is getting a little bit on the smaller side, so I might have to get rid of it, which is really sad, but it is what it is. This is another Disney shirt we just got, so I'm keeping it. I still have all that left to try on. So this is an Alabama tank top. I wear it to work out. I really like the back of it. We'll definitely be keeping this one. It is getting a little small, but for now, it still works with like um, workout shorts. And, um, 
This shirt is from a party I had at camp last year. I wore it, styled it very different than this, but I'm gonna keep it just because you never know when I'm gonna need it. This shirt I also got when I sold at Slime Rodeo. It says Snatch and Slimes on it. And that's the back. I honestly like like the way this shirt fits me and the style of it, but it's never something I would wear in public, so I might try to bleach this, just play around with that. Um, but yeah, I don't wear this one out or really ever. So I'm sure from the slime radio I went to last time. I love the colors on it and everything, but I haven't ever worn it. Cause I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. I need down shirt. It's from when OU won the national championship. It's really soft, comfortable. I like the way it looks and am keeping it. Also, hand me down for Bama Gymnastics. Um, it's not the com most comfy, but I like the design of it and am keeping it. This is a camp shirt. It's comfortable. I'm keeping it. Another camp shirt. I really like this color on me. It's soft and comfortable and am definitely keeping this one. It's one of my favorites. So, <laughs> this is a jersey for my tribe while I'm at camp. It's very big and definitely not the cutest, but I wear it while I'm at camp during tribal things. Not a lot at home though, but again, obviously I'm keeping this one. This is one of my workout tank tops. It's getting a little short, but I can still wear it when I work out like with Nike Pros and stuff, so I'll be keeping it. A tank top from my trip to California around two years ago, and it like just now fits, even though now it's a little short. It's a, another camp shirt. I like the color of this. It's comfy, and I like the design on the back, so I will be keeping it. It's a tie-dye camp shirt. I got a camp bus here. I don't wear it much. Again, I don't wear super bright colors all the time, but it's cute and I like it and will definitely be keeping it. So this is a workout tank top I used to wear all the time and I really like it, but I think I might have to put it in a maybe pile because it is getting a little bit small. This one's another workout tank top. I really like the color of it and I love the back of this one and I just got it this year, so I'm keeping it. This one, I don't wear a ton, but it's camp shirt and I still wear it every now and then and while I'm at camp, so I'll be keeping it. This is a UCLA tank top. Um, it fits pretty good and I'll be keeping it, <laughs> shocker. So this is a hand down tank top. I'm not a big fan of the way it fits on me, so I think I'm gonna donate this one. But another Disney shirt I just got. I wore it in my travel vlog, um, but yeah, definitely keeping this one. I think it's so, so cute. This is a travel tank top for camp. The color is so ugly, especially on me, and the fit of it is really bad, but I'm keeping it just in case I need an extra travel shirt at camp. But yeah, I don't really like this one. This is a tank top that says Key West on it. I think I'm gonna donate this one because it's getting pretty small and I've had it for a while and just don't wear it that much. Um, another camp tank top. I like the design of this one and the color better on me, but the fit is definitely not one I wear out when I'm not at camp, but definitely will be keeping this one as well. That is all these shirts I will be trying on. Um, for y'all, I have a bunch of ones um, like that are just undershirts that I didn't want to try on and a bunch that have like city names or like schools I've gone to and stuff that I just didn't feel comfortable putting on and showing y'all. So I do have some more. I'll show you the piles and everything. So <laughs> this is a keep pile and I was planning on getting rid of more stuff, but it all fits me and I'm not going to get rid of it if I wear it and it fits me. So that's a keep pile. These are stuff I didn't really try on for y'all and then over here this is the donate pile a lot smaller than i thought it's like three things um that were just too small this is the possible diy possible donate section um this is just the dump section this is the maybe pile but i need to go back through and fold all of these and put them up so that's going to take a while All right, everyone, so it has been a few hours, but I thought I'd show you what all I have gotten done. But this is a pile of my main shirts. So basically that one is all my camp shirts. Here's all my gymnastic shirts. They are all my shirts that are just like random and don't have a category. The ones I didn't really show you, plus my workout tank tops. So it's like um, my shirts to layer with like sweaters and stuff. This is my DIY slash like shirts to keep in case I need to get a shirt dirty. Um, so I'm just gonna put those in the art room. This is the shirt I'm keeping. And then over here is everything I'm donating and then that's this what I'm getting rid of. These will fit the same because obviously I didn't get rid of any of them. Put it in eat now, so hopefully 
they'll look nicer at least. I also don't think I got rid of anything from this pile. Oh no, that's true. I got rid of quite a few tank tops in here that were too small. So this might have a little bit of extra room, but they are really small. So I doubted it to gymnastic shirts. So this is piles about the same as before, but it's a lot. It's all nice and folded, which was not how it was before. So that's something good. And lastly, on my random shirts, we'll see if I can get this to fit. Okay, so I just counted it and I took out 16 shirts, which I'm pretty happy with. And there's actually like room on top to fit things if I ever get more shirts. So this is it after. All right, everyone, that was it for today's video. I hope you found it interesting um, to see what I kept and got rid of and everything and all just the shirts I own, the little sense of my wardrobe, <laughs> not that fun of a wardrobe, but hey, that's what I wear. Um, so yeah, definitely be sure to comment down below what shirt was your favorite or just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more videos every Sunday and Wednesday on my channel. Click the bell to be notified when I post those. See y'all next time. Bye.